welcome to my updated office tour video. I'm just gonna quickly give you an overview of the office here. And believe me when I say I know this video is so long overdue. So let's just get right into it. So here's the door and right when you come in behind the door, this new pegboard system that I set up for stickers is brand spanking new and I already love it. These little ledges I got from another small business owner who created these for like crafting shows and things like that. I actually got the files for these and I cut them on my laser. You can order the actual ledges from her as well and I will put that link down in the description. I love this so much. It's gonna make packing orders so much easier. Everything is visible and you can see everything nice and clear. Up here is all like my Noelle Create stickers and then these here are Puppy Lux stickers and then the rest of the ledges are empty right now but these will all be filled in eventually. So right there is the sticker wall and we're going to move on over here. Um, this is a closet that is full of a bunch of crap and it's very unorganized so we're not going to be getting into that today but it basically just holds like a lot of storage, fabrics, things like that. And we're going to get straight into my packaging area right here. Um, this area has been just redone so many different times especially with this pegboard here um, and I think I finally found a system that works so we'll start down here and make our way up if you guys remember from my last office tour which was like so many almost a year ago I think um, but if you want to check that video out I will put it up here for you to go view I used to have a smaller car it was like this car in half it was very very it was way smaller than this one I don't know what I was thinking by having the smaller car like if you see this literally fits in here perfectly like this and i had half of this cart so it was like just all this wasted space when i could just put like this super big cart in here anyways i'm happy i upgraded so let's pull this out here and we'll just quickly go over it um it's basically just a bunch of mailers but these two mailers are the same size that fit phone cases perfectly and then I've got some bigger sized mailers here. And then these here are extra 10 by 13 mailers that go up there. Moving on to the second shelf, again, just a bunch of more mailers, same thing down there. These are a little bit bigger. And then if you turn the cart around, I've got this little cart attachment that I got from Michaels and it just has some like 12 by 15 mailers, I believe. And then on the top here, you guessed it, I have more bubble mailers that are for the phone cases. Right here on the top, I have my biggest mailers, which are 14 and a half by 19, I believe. And then I've got my honeycomb wrapping paper right here from when I wrap cups and things like that. That's what's on the car, just a bunch of packaging, but it really, really saves so much space having this huge cart right here. I love it so much. Right next to all my packaging here, I've got my packaging tape. This is eco-friendly water activated tape. By the way, everything that you're seeing here that is custom, except for my thank you cards and my cup care cards, everything here that is custom is from Sticker Mule. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I use Sticker Mule for all my packaging supplies. There will be a $10 credit linked in the description of this video. Video that you can use on your first order at sticker mule um, I believe over $30 it's actually the price of this tape here so if you want you can grab a tape and just like some sample stickers and use that $10 credit and it's free shipping this tape dispenser does not come with it it's actually from Amazon and throughout this video if I say something is from Amazon it will also be linked down in the description in the Amazon favorites. And now moving on to the actual pegboard here. All the pegboard attachments that you see here, these are all from Amazon and will be linked in the Amazon favorites. So starting off right here, I've got all my different mailers. So these are bubble mailers here. These are 10 by 13 mailers here. And then these are seven by 10, I believe. This is the smallest size the sticker mule has. So whatever the smallest size is on there. Next to my mailers, I got my three stickers that I use the most. These are just little freebie stickers here. And then these are little flower stickers for when I seal my tissue paper. These here are my cup care stickers, which I seal my honeycomb wrapping paper with. And right above that, I've got my thank you cards here. Um, these, I actually made these on Canva and I have a tutorial if you guys wanna check that out on my channel. The actual thank you card I get manufactured from Got Print. Right above that, I've got some extra stickers here. And here are some cup care cards that I have left over. And then here's what they look like. They're just like little cards. The only reason I stopped using these is because I got the stickers, but if you wanna get some of these. You can order these off of Got Print as well, where I get the thank you cards from. Moving on, above that, I've got my Puppy Lux tape here. And then above that, we've got some more Puppy Lux stickers here. Thank you cards or thank you like little stickers here. These are also from Sticker Mule. They're like kiss cut. And over here, I've got some Puppy Lux mailers here. Underneath that, I've got my 
little rigid mailers for like sticker orders or bookmark orders. If you're new here and you don't know what Puppy Lux is, that is my second small business for dog accessories and dog mom apparel and accessories as well. So if you wanna check that out, that will be linked in the description of this video. That's the pegboard packaging station and the little cart packaging station. And I do have some more packaging in here, so I'll show you that now. This little rolling cart fit perfectly under my desk here. You can find this little storage cart at Michael's. This top drawer, I've got some more packaging supplies here. This is all stuff that I don't use immediately to pack orders, except for these backings, which I use for stickers. Starting over here, I've got some extra stickers for my thank you cards. I've got some extra cup care cards. These right here are scrunchy tags. Right next to that, I've got some magnetic bookmark backings. Next to that, I've got some car coaster backings. And right here are my old coffee mug care instructions, which mugs will be coming back eventually. And then, like I said, these are these are little three by five backings that I use for keychains and stickers. Got some thank you cards here and here as well. And then these are the little um, scratch off stickers that I got from Amazon that I use for my thank you cards so that's everything for the first drawer here and then in this second drawer is some more packaging supplies just some extra little stickers here and then over here i've got my phone case bags and then these are all just like uh packaging bags that i use for my bookmarks and coasters things like that and i won't bore you too much with the rest of the drawers it's just used for storage so we'll move on i've got my desk right here it is an l shape but there's actually two different desks they are huge and they are perfect if you have like a lot of tabletop space that you take up these are the best tables i've ever found um and they are linked in the amazon favorites they're amazing i definitely recommend them there's also so much storage down there as well i usually have a box right there as a trash can but i took it out just to make this video a little more aesthetically pleasing over here i got my epson eco take 15,000, and i used to use this for eco solvent transfers now it's just mainly used for bookmarks because i moved on to dtf printing for my transfers instead and then over here i've got my silhouette cameo that i use for my bookmarks some supplies up here for the silhouette and my silhouette cameo um, and then like some shipping labels for my little printer here my thermal printer got my shopify counter my youtube plaque and these decals i always get questions about these you guys they are from sticker mule so i did get these off of sticker mule they have like um like a wall decal option so that's where they're from here i've just got like my computer and everything i also get a lot of questions about where i got this riser from this is from the container store over here right next to that i've just got some like little label printers and things like that moving on to the first shelf over here we'll start at the bottom down in this bin i've got like just my tech stuff that i use for my camera and youtube and things like that um here is like unreleased products here is like old products or testing products that i didn't go through with i don't even know what's in there to be honest with you here is more like inventory and stuff um, that i need to find a better storage system for honestly and then here is all my mystery packaging i just came out with like mystery cups mystery bags things like that here is just like some tester cases and things like that blanks and things like that over here this is my sublimation printer this is the epson eco tank 2850 with my new little little pink tape dispenser and this is from amazon next to that i've got some stacking bins that are also from amazon down here are just some like sublimation mugs and cups and things like that and then up here are all products that need to be bagged by the way all of these bins are from amazon and they are not stacking i actually stack them myself with some like extra boxes but they do not stack i uh, just wanted to let you guys know that in this first bin i got my tumbler straws my glass cup straws glass cup lids, tumbler lids, little tumbler pouch blanks, car coaster blanks. Then moving up, these all hold like inventory. I've got my keychains, 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 tumbler toppers, magnetic bookmarks, magnetic bookmarks, magnetic bookmarks, magnetic bookmarks, and then my normal bookmarks here. And over here are some sticker sheets here. These are not used yet because I haven't added my new keychains that I just came out with yet. Up here, I've got some of my uh, tissue paper. It's like 20 by 30 tissue paper. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, any small businesses, you could check them out on the site. So that's it for this shelf. And now we'll move on to the next shelf over. By the way, all these white shelves are from Amazon as well. Down here, this holds all of my um, sublimation tumbler blanks. And there's more um, blanks right here. This shelf holds all of my 16 ounce glasses. All of these are phone case blanks here, except for these three, but I'm not gonna share that just yet because they haven't come out yet. All of my tumbler pouches are here, as well as my car coasters here. These two are currently empty. 
scrunchies here that I am going to discontinue because it is just too much work. It's very, very time consuming. So yeah, scrunchies will be discontinued. And then these two are going to be for um, phone cases, like mystery cases and things like that. Up here, I've got my tissue paper for packaging. So that's all for the second shelves. And now we're going to move on to the final shelf here. Down here is all of my packaging boxes. And I always get questions about where I get my packaging boxes from. You guys, this is all from Amazon right here, except for these super, super big ones. These are from Staples. Right above that, this is all Oopsie products. And I have like a story time about why they're so many of these tumblers it literally drove me crazy it should not even be half of these um as oopsies but but sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to so that's why there's a bunch here i still need to list all of these but these will all be super super discounted so right above that are the good tumblers here and then a bunch of mystery cups here all my 16 ounce glasses book girly iced coffee girly tulips plant girly strawberry cow print and the coquette on top of that there's just apparel right here this shelf will probably be changing a lot especially once i get rid of all these oopsie items here this one is not for certain but the other ones will remain the same for a while so yeah guys that is the updated office tour let me know what you guys think and if you like it also make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have seen the original like office tour videos. I'm really interested to see how long you guys have been here. And if you like see the huge change that my office has become, I would really love to know. So leave me a comment down below. And that's it for the office tour guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video and I will see you in the next one.